No. I will rise. I cannot forsake my friends. I will not forsake them. They never forsake me. To the dungeons I will stride. I will lift my downcast eyes. Long my song was trapped inside. Now I free it to the skies. If I don't, my friends may die. Fear not, friends, your help is nigh. I will rise. Fear shall fall. Doubt is gone. Hope has come. I will rise. Woe will fade. All my pain is gone. It's gone. It's gone. And I'm free. I will free you too, my friends. You've done so much for me. So much. Salvo Quinn helped me to rise. He sure stone fought for my life. No gave me my voice for these friends I make my choice I will free them from their cage I will rise fear shall fall doubt is gone hope has come I will rise, woe will fade. I reach for the prize, arise, 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 rise. The sea goats took to swirling and wriggling about their captives with bleats of concern and turmoil, <coughs> feeling what might come. Mummies! Some squealed. The Duke of Yonderbark! Others barked, but none guessed truly the source of the golden voice. Then, in glory that outshone even the reflections that bounced off the most reflective scales of the most glory-filled fish in all the seas appeared thumpy renewed and filled with confidence, for he finally believed in his own worth. With fangs bared and claws protruding, Thumpy charged his enemies, rushing downwards towards the dungeons where his keen senses told him his fellows had been taken. Dozens died before his wrath. Clashing and banging, the hobgoblin soon had the others free. Together, the yellow nails of Thumpy, razor claws a quim, Pointy lance of ye and sparkling sword of Nupledore. They lashed out against the foul sea goats. <laughs> Shouted Quim as he eviscerated three <laughs> sea goats in one swing of his claws, keeping ye in the corner of his eye to see if she was watching. Through the bestial ferocity of Quim, the battle skill of ye, the magic of Nupledore, and the bloodthirsty rage of Thumpy, the four companions came to stand before the great Artarch. <laughs> Not so helpless now, eh? Zoopy doop. Nupador mocked. <coughs> what merriment would there be in such effortless victory? Boomed the wet bearded seagull. Face your doom with honor! Squelched ye as she pointed a purple and blue weapon towards the Artarch. And bring your slimy scales upon the tip of my lance. The Artarch roared. Why would I do that? Life is only precious because there exists the chance of death. Growled Quim, eyes glinting in the reflection of his own rending unguis. The Artarch's belly thundered in wrath. Life's sole purpose is to pleasure me. Thumpy said quietly, Life's sole purpose is to believe. To believe in yourself and in your friends. 
in love and in hope and to bring joy. Stumpy gave his first genuine smile in that moment. The sea goat Artark bowed. <laughs> Justice, honor, jubilee, death, power, loyalty, wisdom, breath. How overwhelming, sword and claw and shield, blood and spill. Upon the battlefield, charge upon the fortress, kill their weak and young. Enough! It's my turn to speak. I'll drown your tongue and cheek, bathing in your grief. To smell the sting of pain and death! In the face of death, I shall bear my charge To end your reign of pain In this time of death, I shall bring your end And see your army slain You sought to end us all but you have failed! Your time is now! Die! But ere I end your breath, I shall buy your crown! Prepare to end the fighting! We stand against us! We stand behind the sun! How can one find justice without now we stand together against the swarm of scales. Our cards can pierce through iron. A spirit make us one. 